Here now is former Secretary of Defense under President Donald Trump and author of A Sacred Oath, Secretary Mark Esper. Mr. Secretary, thank you for joining us. I want to start with Afghanistan. It seems like the Inspector General cited both the agreement to leave and then the actual withdrawal as the two reasons for the collapse of the Afghan army. So my question to you is, do you agree that the signing of the agreement should be equated with the actual withdrawal? Well, first of all, Trey, uh, great to be with you tonight. Thanks for inviting me. Uh, I would say that, no, uh, signing the agreement was not a mistake. Look, we, we need to have a, a resolution to the conflict in Afghanistan. This could not go on for generations and generations. I mean, the American people had already committed over a trillion dollars in taxpayer dollars. Uh, you, you know, we committed our, our service members. Um, over 2,400 lost their lives in Afghanistan. It was time to come find an end to the conflict. And the only way to solve it was through a political agreement. We had tried a military solution. That didn't work. That's why when I came into office in July 19, I found a plan pretty much uh, baked at that point in time. I said that I could support it, provided it was conditions-based. And conditions-based meant that not only did we live up to our agreement, our end of the agreement, which we did, but that the Taliban did as well, which they failed to do. And frankly, uh, we failed to make them do so. And that's, you know, at the end of my tenure, I sent a classified memo to the president saying we should go no further below 4,500 troops until the uh, Taliban lives up to their end of the agreement. All right, let me ask you one more question about, about Afghanistan, because it dominated the news almost a year ago. Was there a manner or method by which the U.S. could have withdrawn its troops without the consequences we saw last summer? Right, yes, absolutely. First of all, it was an abysmal failure. Uh, it, it was a hasty withdrawal. We looked like we were forced out. We left Americans behind in the country. Uh, young service members were killed. Uh, right outside the airport. It was tragic and terrible in so many ways. Look, first of all, I would have recommended that we make the Taliban live up to their agreement. We should have used our continued presence in country at a level, uh, again, around 4,000, 4,500. We should have used our lethal force against the Taliban to get them to come to the table and live up to the end of the agreement. If we had stayed, uh, that would ensure that the Afghan military would have stayed as well. We could have provided con contractor support, logistics, and so on. But look, failing that, we could have done a much better plan in terms of how we withdrew, we could have done so with force. I think the State Department uh, did not do a good job in terms of uh, helping Americans in Afghanistan get out in a timely manner. I mean, there was so much more we could have done that um, uh, these lessons will be learned for some time going forward. All right, Mr. Secretary, I want to play a clip from General Milley, and then I'm going to ask you to react on the other side of what he had to say. As we are entering a world that is becoming more unstable, the world you are being commissioned into has the potential for significant international conflict between great powers, China and Russia, each with significant military capabilities and both who fully intend to change the current rules-based order. Are, are we, I think you may have actually graduated from, from, from where he was giving the commencement address. Are, are we closer to actual conflict with Russia and with China? I don't think necessarily so. We, we clearly are in an era of great power competition. When I came into office in 2019, I made it my top priority, priority to implement the national defense strategy which said, that said that China is number one and Russia number two, our strategic adversaries. Uh, clearly, both countries are, are run by autocrats, and they have intentions to undermine democracy and the inter international order that, that we know and trust. Uh, we found out in the last three months that uh, Russia is much more of a paper tiger than we thought, and the fact that uh, their invasion and, and subsequent failures in Afghanistan, I'm sorry, in uh, Ukraine have been a, a strategic fail failure for Putin. But look, China is the much bigger threat. Uh, they're far uh, more capable than the Russians, a much larger economy, very technologically advanced. Uh, they, they, uh, they have a grand strategy, and we need to modernize the military now and prepare all functions of government to focus on this. I, I think one of the uh, successes of the Trump administration was to form and forge a, a consensus across the government that China was a strategic threat to the United States of America. Mr. Secretary, I talked too slowly because I didn't even get a chance to ask you about Finland and Sweden, which I want to ask you about because I think that's historic. So. Hopefully you'll come back on, but thank you for joining us um, and, and thank you for your service as Secretary of Defense.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.